Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Inês. I'm an artist and illustrator. And for today's video, I thought I would show you a few art supplies that I've bought recently because uh, one, I needed some refills from the things that I already have. And I also got a few new products that I really want to try and I thought I would share with you. So I have this bag that is full of things and also uh, more things around here that I can show you later. So I bought these products from two different stores. One of them is the London Graphic Center located in the city center of London in Covent Garden. I really like that store because it has a huge variety of products uh, in terms of paper, paints, pens, uh, ink, like all of these types of variety of things that you can imagine, they have it. So I really like to go there because I really like that store. And I also bought a few things from Cassart from the online shop because they were doing a sale. I had a heads up from a friend that works in there. And um, it was nice because I got to buy a few things that I needed, a few things that I didn't know even existed uh, by a fraction of the price. So I think it's a very good deal. So if you are interested to see what are the art supplies that I've bought, please keep watching the video. So one of the things that I really needed to buy was a refill on my Liquitex acrylic washes. I bought the primary colors again because basically I ran out of my last batch that I've bought. I really like this, this product. I already talked about it in my favorites video. Uh, basically, it's a hybrid between a gouache and an acrylic. It has the behavior of the gouache, but has the finish of an acrylic. So basically, you can make different layers of this product and it will not reactivate like other gouaches do. So I really like this, I actually prefer this to normal gouache. The colors are very vibrant, very opaque, and it really does the job very well. I, I've done a few paintings with it and I really, really like it. That's why I, I got a refill on these. So for my next product is something that I'm very excited about. It's something that I don't think I really needed it, but I'm really excited because it's really pretty and it's something different and it's something that I'm always buying. So I got this Pigma Micron fine liners brush pen and everyday pen. So it's 10 fine liners, one brush pen and one everyday pen in a black and gold edition. So it's instead of the normal beige kind of pens, basically it's um, black and gold and it's really pretty. I think probably the inside is completely the same, but I got to see the, the actual price and it was not very different. And I thought like, since I'm always buying these pens, why not just buy these limited edition ones? They, they, they look so pretty and maybe it was an impulse buy, but I really need these fine liners anyway for my work. So I'm really excited to try these. I'm sure they are exactly the same, just with a new outfit, which I'm not mad about. We sometimes need a change and maybe the pens as well. So yeah, that's it for this one. So this next one is something that I'm really, really excited to try because I never heard of anything like it. I think they are the world's first or something which are the Faber-Castell Pit Graffiti... Pit Gra... <sighs> the Faber-Castell Pit Graphite Matte. And it says world first, that's why I'm not lying. It's saying there. <laughs> so this is basically a extreme matte graphite pencil of supreme artist quality. Ultra matte graphite lay down for reduced reflection on paper, highest color density for maximum effect, Smooth graphite application, ideal for writing, drawing and sketching. So I got this on my online shopping in CasArt. So I want to do a video on these, doing the first impressions and see what I think about these because it's something that sounds so interesting because normally graphites are very reflective. So one of the annoying things actually when you are trying to take a picture or uh, something and there's light. On the graphite drawing, sometimes it can reflect the light. And so if it is matte, it will not perform as that. So I would assume it would be more similar to charcoal, but obviously a completely different material. So we'll see how it goes. I will let you know how I feel about these. And yeah, I'm really excited for this one, for sure. So I also bought some Prismacolor uh, Colorase pencils. I already had the blue ones, like I have like 12 blue ones, but I wanted to try different colors and um, I didn't want to buy like another like 12 
reds or 12 purples. So I thought this one, because it's a 12 pencil set with different colors, so it has like reds, browns, uh, purple, blue, again, I didn't need it, but it's here. And it has different shades of it as well. I think it will be very nice to try and it will allow me to change a little bit the sketches that I do sometimes and then I, I ink them afterwards, but it totally gives a vibe to the sketch that you use. And depending on the color, you t you will have a different vibe, right? I already used the red one on my Spider-Man video, at my last video. Uh, but I cannot wait to use the other ones because I think uh, it's really fun to use different colors. And the good thing about these pencils is that they are not normal coloring pencils. So they are really easy to erase. That's why they are called color erase pencils. And yeah, so... I'm excited for this one as well. And the other one that I've got was um, a sketchbook. Uh, I'm always buying sketchbooks and then I never finish them in a way. I'm almost finishing my render sketchbook, which I love, but I also I decided since I was buying things that were on sale, I had to, I had to, I just had to. So I bought a um, Moleskin Art Collection a sketchbook. I think this one is almost an A4 size. Uh, do they say it? Oh yeah, yeah, it's exactly an A4. 21 by 29.7. It is 96 pages, 165 grams paper, and it's acid free. It's basically uh, the exactly the same as the my other favorite, which, which is a, a smaller one. I love the paper in itself. I decided I wanted to do this, do the refill on my sketchbooks because I'm already running out on my other one in this size. So yeah, I decided to do that and I'm really, really happy with this purchase. So this one is uh, something that I'm familiar with. Uh, I've never tried in this experience specific form in sketchbook form but I've tried this product before I have it in a different color here already and it is my Strathmore Tone 10 mixed media so it's a, a sketchbook a full space sketchbook it's an A4 size really sturdy so basically this is a mixed media paper which is toned so it's not white that allows you to go uh, lighter and darker than the actual paper, which I really liked for expressive paintings and expressive drawings and sketches. Uh, I already have this in uh, grey, uh, which I like very much. You can find like this one is in, in grey, so you can basically go lighter and darker than the actual paper. And this one as well. <laughs> uh, but I really like the tanned one, so this kind of brown beige uh, one because it's less harsh so it's a bit lighter uh, and it's really expressive as well I've, I've tried this before I've done a lot of illustrations with them but never in a sketchbook form so I think it would be good for me to actually try it and um, just collect all my sketches in the same place and yeah I love this product I always have and I think I always will so the other thing that I've bought was my Winsor & Newton uh, Gold Metallic Bronze Ink. Uh, it's I love these the packages of the the inks. I think just they are just so pretty. And inside is this. So really really pretty. I cannot wait to use this. Look at this. Very wet. Like very like liquid consistency so i've never tried these uh, like metallic ones i used the um, india ink constantly like it's one of the things that i use a lot and it's from Winsor and newton so i know they are good but i've never tried their pigments before so i'm really excited to try these with maybe watercolors or gouaches i think it will give a really cool result in the end and because it's I like the fact that it's quite liquidy. For me, I wanted to try this one and so we'll see. I'll let you know how I feel about this. It's something that I've never tried, but I'm very excited to. For my next product, I bought um, Liquitex Soft Body Acrylics. These are the primary colors as well, similar to the, actually, to my gouaches. It's basically the same type of product, so it's the primary range, but this is a different product. This is soft acrylics, it's uh, quite, easier to use and I've never actually tried these as acrylics but if this is 
anything similar to the quality of the acrylic washes, which I think it might be because they are acrylics. I think I will be very, very happy with these. So I will let you know, I will do a test with these and I will let you know how I feel about these. And yeah, can't wait to use them. So for my last product uh, that I will show you, it's something that I've bought a while ago, but since it's still on the wraps, uh, and I still haven't used it, I think I will show you and talk about it, which is my Windsor & Newton canvas. It's in 60 by 70 centimeters, and it's something that I've been <laughs> wanting to use lately, but I haven't had the chance I moved, since I moved house and all of these things happen. But I think uh, I wanted to include it in the video as well, because it will make me uh, more aware that I actually have to use them. and. I actually don't don't mind at all to paint in big canvas I already have done in the past but you know it requires a lot of uh, time and I haven't had it until now but it's something that I really want to to do forward I'm really happy with my purchase I know it's a very good quality canvas the Windsor in new two ones so I cannot wait to actually start painting and just enjoy the art of painting a uh, big canvas. I really miss it and I think I should definitely do it soon. So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the selection of art supplies that I've got. I'm really excited to try some of these products and other ones like I'm also excited but already know how they perform. But the acrylics, the, the canvas, the graphite, the matte graphite, it's one of the ones that I'm really really excited because something that sounds a bit different from the actual graphites that I'm used to using so I'm if you want I will definitely do a video on it uh, showing my first impressions and yeah I'm really really excited to start working start drawing start painting and yeah guys uh, thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a like subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next week with another video bye